Hello. I am Rini Santana Reis. You may have heard from me because um, I've been with Euthrania Sila Santana Reis on the internet for over 20 years. This is the first time I attempt to bring you my personal video. And of course, it will consist of an introduction which uh, will give you an idea as to my origin, where I come from, when I moved into Canada, uh, what kind of uh, professional life I've lived, and what has been the ambition during my last 25 years in my association with Euthrania Sila Sinton Race. To give you an idea, she is what I term scribe, which is, in my view, no less than a prophetess. Why do I think that way? Because the origin, uh, the origin of her scribings are from the captains and com <coughs> excuse me, commanders of the Federation of Free Planets who have stationed their starships here in our higher atmosphere. Sometimes you can see them as they fly by, other times you cannot. In fact, mostly, most often you cannot because they have a way to cloak themselves and become invisible to the naked eye, yet they are here. And why are they here? In order to assist hu humankind from one level of evolution into the next. Okay, I promised I would give, tell you a little bit about myself. I was born in West Germany in 1943. I came to Canada when I was 20 years of age in 1963. And... Uh, worked in Canada in the engineering field for roughly 35 years. From my first marriage, I had four, I have four children. From my second marriage with Euthrania Silo Centenaris, which began in October uh, 1994, I have none. Uh, it's been quite a bumpy ride up and down, primarily because after we had, or better, Euthrania had scribed her five books of cryptic nature, f which contained secrets of the Pentagon, we became persecuted. Uh, you might say mildly at first, but effectively uh, and dangerously at times since. We were hoping that the freedom of expression in the United States surpassed the freedom of expression and book in book book publishing in Canada quite substantially so what we did in the early 1995 we moved into Canada uh, pardon me we moved into the United States in hopes of getting our books published which are five five small books and uh, so what we did is we settled ourselves down in Tempe, Arizona, in a trailer park, the Pony Acres Trailer Park. However, soon after we arrived in Arizona, 
we became noticed by the NSA. They flew overhead with the helicopters. When we would spot them in the sky, they would just turn around and disappear behind the mountains of the Tonto Forest again. And so we realized that they were on our tail again. It may have had to do with the fact that um, they had found out, actually twofold, they had found out that the material that Euthrania scribed into book form was, uh, although cryptic, however, not suitable for publishing. Why not did they deem it not to be suitable for publishing? or publication, simply because it would tell on them, tell on the upper echelon that was running the Pentagon. And for that reason, in 1995, when we were in Tempe, Arizona, they intercepted our mail. They got the caretaker of the Pony Acres part to, to break into our mailbox and intercept the mail from prospective uh, publishers or literary agents. We caught them red-handed doing so. President Clinton was President of the United States at the time. He has an odious reputation of disappearing people. And so we concluded after our first experience with an assassin that lodged himself or parked himself uh, a few trailer spots down from where we had our, where we lived. And, uh, he was um, an assassin, self-proclaimed assassin, which, which I believe was true. We uh, have no doubts about it because he gave us the evidence of it, me in particular, uh, with the mission to kill us or put us out of circulation in one way or another. But, but I believe his mission was to find a way uh, to assassinate us without uh, trace back to who it was that, that disappeared us. He invited me to go up with, his, with him in an airplane, which we declined. I declined. So I didn't want to be thrown out of an airplane and be disappeared. Then, uh, as we made our first acquaintance with uh, this gentleman, Marvin was his first name, I forgot his last name. Uh, we were very friendly with him and uh, invited him over. He invited himself, invited himself to, into our home, little trailer home, mobile home, not mobile home, but uh, RV home. And uh, so he began to like us. He must have gotten second thoughts about murdering us. And uh, when the time came that he was about to leave, after he showed me his equipment, electronic equipment in his trailer, he was a very angry man. We couldn't understand why he was so angry when he left. But now, I believe we do. I believe we had saved ourselves by being nice and friendly to him, toward him, and he must have concluded 
that we were not people that ought to be murdered. So after he was gone um, and uh, we were not allowed to receive frontings from prospective publishers for the books that we had r published and written or scribed better through the hand of uh, Euthrania Sila. We reached the end of the line after two years in Arizona financially and we were forced to go back home to Canada. Then in Canada we went on the net with our material not necessarily publishing the books, the five books that got us into trouble in Arizona, but uh, books and other material pertaining to how the world is actually run and what should be done and in our opinion must be done or must happen in order for the entire human race to be reclaimed. So it is from uh, 1997 on actually no secret as to what we stand for or what we st stood for pertaining to mankind's need of a soul re rejuvenation. And so here we are, after having made in Canada and from our base in Canada, several attempts on webs publishing website on our websites, our material, and having been shut down on occasion, prevented from uh, posting our articles on uh, writing sites or other sites, but generally we, we were able to keep our main site open. Whenever one was shut down for one reason or another, we would reopen our uh, connection to the internet by opening up another site and continue on with our message to the world. Finally, in, in uh, a few years ago, we went heavily on uh, Facebook. So at the moment, for the time being, Facebook is our main uh, outlet containing our message to the world and anyone curious as to what we're all about can go on Facebook and look at our postings there and become familiarized with the need for a reclamation of the entire human race. All races need to be in, it, reclaimed because all races are fallen. And how have they fallen? They have fallen under the draconian measures we call a money system which made slaves out of all of them. Okay. <clears throat> uh, for an introduction, I would say that would suffice. Our Facebook, fa my Facebook page, face, uh, Facebook page, pardon me. You can find under facebook.com forward slash centenaries, one word, S E N T A N A R I E S. And uh, there you can find a link to. Euthrania Sila Centenaris' 
own personal Facebook page, which is, again, they're all public posts, uh, in order to find out what she is posting. My methods are a little different from hers, which is understandable, we're different people, but we have the same message for the entire human race. We firmly believe that uh, all people on the face of this planet must be good people and not evil people. By that I mean not people involved in all manners of iniquity but lying, cheating, murdering, stealing and so forth. All people must be enlightened people and rediscover their soul connection to the universe. And what do I mean by that? We all are entities that have a higher self. We must reconnect our souls with our higher self in order to reclaim the godhood or goddesshood that we really are. From there on, we must we will re rediscover our connection back to the captains and commanders of the Federation of Free Planets and uh, uh, gain an understanding of the depth and the magnitude to which or by which we are connected to the universe. So in the end, conclusion, once we have discovered of who we really are, we ought to be one with the universe in the lighted and positive sense of the goodness of our souls, which must be cultivated. Otherwise, if we do not cultivate our souls to a degree of perfection in our soul's disposition which involves being good to ourselves as well as all people around us we will miss the mark and stunt our growth and that is something I wouldn't wish, want to wish on anybody. Okay, uh, this is uh, my first attempt at making a video clip. It probably will not be published, uh, but nonetheless, it'll give me and Euthrania an idea of what we can accomplish with the type of equipment that we have recently acquired to make these video productions. That is all for now. We'll see you again. Have a good day and a good evening.